Hi guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, very exciting video, as we're gonna take a look at the tech available when people want to do or organize some entertainment, for example, some music concerts, or some theater shows, or anything like that, within the metaverse, or virtual reality, or potentially also augmented reality. You know, and then people with an Oculus Quest, MetaQuest 2, or HP Reverb G2, or other VR headsets can actually join in the fun and be as close as it can potentially be next to the stars or favorite artists. But first, to talk about the HP Reverb G2. Today we're giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2 and also brand new pair of Cyber Shoes sponsored by HP and sponsored by Cyber Shoes. I'll be also providing a 50 US dollar voucher that you will be able to redeem to your Meta Oculus Quest Store or Viveport or Steam VR Store. It'll be completely up to you. So do enable the bell after you subscribe as we will announce how to enter this competition upon hitting the nine thousand subscribers and we're very close guys very very close and guys we have another competition running at the moment link in the description below or the pinned comments where two lucky winners on december 28 will be announced where you, they can go basically or you can go to the website and pick any item that you want up to the price of 29 us dollars or 29 euros so guys do go and check that link and enter now because it is completely free also after you enable the bell and subscribe to the vr essentials youtube channel of course all right so let's transition over to today's uh, topic which is all about technology available and do stick around until the end of the video as I will disclose costs and also time it takes and uh, platforms to use and all this kind of stuff uh, you know in terms of doing this kind of things so now of course because of COVID-19 it's been extremely popular to you know to do these kind of shows um, you know using a metaverse Platform. Now, some people, for example, Marshmallow decided to use Fortnite because there are hundreds of thousands of gamers in there. In fact, there were more than 200 million member, member gaming platform on Fortnite that attended apparently the Marshmallow concert. Um, so, you know, and here's some clips of the actual concert. Let me just make sure that I did transition over first. Yes, I did. Um, you know, and this is absolutely incredible. Now, of course, Fortnite doesn't offer people the opportunity to put a VR headset on, to go inside and to be as close as possible to the stars. But, you know, at the end of the day, it was a very creative way of going to check out a concert, of course. Now, let's talk about why you would want to actually use a metaverse platform versus, let's say, a live stream. Well, first of all, in terms of cost, um, it would actually perhaps cost you less than to create a 3D environment than actually booking an entire venue because that can, that can be a lot, a lot of money as well. It can run into the hundreds, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars depending on the venue that you want to book, of course. Um, you know, for example, if you wanted to do your, your event at the Bird's Nest in China or some Olympic Stadium in uh, Rio de Janeiro or, I don't know, just a, a, a venue that you really wanted to do, you really wanted to book it, but it's fully booked, let's say, or whatever, you wanted to create an environment that has a lot of a lot of character to it, a lot of fantasy or specific theme like Avatar or whatever, it doesn't matter, just your, your imagination just goes crazy. You wouldn't be able to do that in the real world or perhaps um, it would just cost you too much money to recreate this in the real world, first of all. Now, of course, with COVID-19, uh, it also means that doing this in the metaverse uh, is, 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 is more convenient because you can build everything in the metaverse as I just mentioned just now. For example, Ariana Grande did it also in Fortnite, but you know, this specific environment doesn't look super, I would say, super detailed. But if we go further down the line, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's not, it doesn't look, honestly speaking, in terms of concerts that are available around, it's okay. It's not super great, but if you can put your VR headset on and you're immersed and you're right next to her or right in front of Ariana Grande, then of course it will feel amazing because when you put a VR headset on, especially your Oculus Meta Quest or your HP Reverb G2 or HTC Vive Pro, whatever, you know, you'll, you'll feel just amazingly immersed. And look, for example, these guys are in the bubbles, they're floating around now, things are changing. You know, this is the kind of stuff that you can actually do um, when you're actually organizing concerts in the metaverse. That's the first thing. The other thing is that what you can do uh, compared to a real world uh, event is you can actually 
create this in augmented reality using a phone or Unreal glasses, which are now available all over America and in certain parts of Europe. And you could actually have this in your living room. Like you could put the glasses on and this concert with the 3D avatar, not just 3D avatar, by the way, and I'll show this to you in just a moment, could be in the actual living room. I mean, that's how frigging crazy it is. Um, you don't necessarily need a VR or virtual reality headset to put on your face. Um, to be in a world, you could just do it in augmented reality. It just means that the actual space that you're in won't be completely transformed. Of course, you can only add to the space that you're in. So you could add some special effects uh, or you could just have the actual person be in, in your living room, but that's about it. So if you want the full fledged 3D immersion with all the amazing stuff going on, then of course you would want to do this in the metaverse uh, using virtual reality. Now, another company that is very um, known in the space for doing VR concerts is Wave XR. Uh, they've been doing this for quite a while now. They're really good at what they do. Um, and honestly, it's really awesome in terms of things they've been delivering. The graphics are amazing. And also the other thing that you can do, of course, is you could record all this, um, you know, inside of social media, or you could record it inside of the platform and then you could distribute it via social media. So for example, Red Bull have millions of different people, Nike, uh, Coca-Cola, you know, all these people, they have millions of people. So if they put it on their own websites, of course, then potentially you could reach so many more people via your social media, um, not just people who would actually, you know, take part in putting a VR headset on and going inside of the metaverse to be as close as possible to their favorite artist. But then you can have all the other people who don't yet have a VR headset or augmented reality glasses to be able to actually watch and view and stream, um, you know, and, 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 and interact with these things. Because of course you could then use the likes, the comments, uh, and the various different other tools provided by, you know, Twitch or YouTube or various different uh, platforms for people to actually interact with the actual live stream or the post live stream, whatever you want to do, whether you're recording it live or whether you're actually doing it afterwards. So these are some of the benefits uh, in terms of why you would want to use, um, you know, certain various different agencies or platforms in doing your events, uh, whether it's a, a, a play or a concert or even just a trade show, whatever kind of things you want to do using the metaverse. So let's dive in a little bit more in terms of the technology that's available today. Uh, I really highly recommend that you go and check out this guy's YouTube channel because it is absolutely amazing. Let me just uh, go here. Okay, there we go. So this guy, um, I've been following his channel for quite some time. And basically the technology that's available in order to do this, there are two types of main technologies available um, in the metaverse today to be able to recreate this kind of stuff in a 3D environment. First of all, all you have to do is use some trackers and then a few software. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, uh, just give me a moment, excuse me. Okay, so all you have to do is, um, of course, you need to, 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 to hire people who specialize, who know what they're talking about, who have the experience of doing all this. Don't hire everyone and anyone. Don't hire your offshore people in India, uh, you know, unless they have, or, or, or wherever it might be, it doesn't have to be India. It could also be in the US, it could also be in England. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it's not because they're from Europe or the Americas uh, that it means that they know what they're doing. Okay, uh, sorry about that. That was very, uh, not, not very cool of me to say, but I'm just saying that whoever you hire from whichever country they're from, um, you know, do make sure that you do your background research and that they have proven track record and actually have done doing this for various different people. Don't just hire people uh, who have a crappy looking WordPress website saying they've done it for someone, but actually don't, they don't have the proof. Make sure you have the proof in the pudding before you hire people because I will talk about costs in just a moment. Um, but basically, um, you know, all you need is a few software and basically you need motion capture in order to record the data from the person moving. It could be done both uh, live streaming or it could be done pre-recorded and they're basically using the data from the motion capture. Uh, then you can, you can start to uh, recreate the actual 
3D environment, which you would then do in a 3D software using Blender or, or, or Maya or 3ds Max, it doesn't really matter, or Unity um, or Unreal, whatever you use, um, you know, to then basically recreate the 3D environment. And then the person who is wearing the mocap could then do it live, or you could do it as an animation later on um, inside of the 3D metaverse space, uh, whether you, you're intending to do it in augmented reality or virtual reality. Now, the time it will take to do something like this, by the way, for a full-fledged um, for a full fledged concert, you're looking or, or for also it's going to depend on the number of actors, of course, that you need, because the more actors, the more computational power you're going to need, the, the more machines you're going to need, the more testing you're going to need to do. So, you know, but for a simple concert with one or two people inside of the scene will probably take, I would say, between 60 to 90 days out of for the 90 days, by the way. If anyone tells you, yeah, we could do it within a month, no worries, um, they're lying. FYI, uh, full of crap. And or the only reason why they could do it fast for you is because they're going to be using templates where they don't do any customized things whatsoever. And all they need to do is fly the guy to your office or fly your guy from your office um, to basically to the studio or wherever they'll do they'll do it from. Um, you know, to 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 put the mocap on and to record and do all this thing. But otherwise. It will take at least 90 days because you need at least a good two weeks of testing in order to, um, sorry, I forgot to press play, in order to, um, you know, to, 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 to test every single component in this thing. You need a good two weeks, if not four weeks, I would recommend, in fact, um, you know, when it comes to doing this kind of stuff. Now, the other great thing about doing this in VR, of course, or in the metaverse, is that you can basically recreate anything in VR, as I mentioned before at the beginning of this video. For example, here he's able to catch, to capture the velocity um, at which when you hit something, uh, you can then change the, uh, the, the size of the, of, the, of, the, of the drums. So the drums become bigger and depending on how, uh, how much force you apply on the bass kick, uh, it will be even bigger or smaller. And also there will be, uh, let me just pause it, uh, there will also be here, for example, there will be some glowing involved. Um, so that is really awesome in terms of what you can actually do, um, you know, within the metaverse to augment the experience compared to doing this uh, purely, you know, uh, in real life. Of course, you can't do this in real life. You have to use some kind of augmented way to do that. So you could see here, he put the, um, the sensors on the actual drumsticks. Now, this is really cutting edge stuff. To actually be able to put a drummer inside of the metaverse and to record the data points is a very unique, very specialized thing to do um, and requires a lot more testing. And of course, the drummer himself would have to be used to doing this because apparently he cannot turn the actual sticks um, when he's playing. He has to play in a, in a certain way where the sensors are being able to be captured by the cameras uh, who are picking up the data from the actual drumstick. So I thought that was very interesting. Do go and check out his channel, you know, learn how to do all this, uh, because if you're a marketeer and you're looking to do this, or you're a concert organizer, or you're someone who's in uh, performance or entertainment, and you're looking to do this kind of stuff, then you're definitely going to pick up some good tips from him. Even if you, you're going to hire someone else, at least you will have some information that makes you more intelligent when you actually start to hire certain companies. You'll get to learn the jargon, the technical words, how it's done, all this kind of stuff, uh, so that you know you don't get um, scammed by various different people. So I do recommend you go and check out his channel. And please leave a comment below in any of his videos that you go and watch. Say, oh, VR Essential, send me to your channel um, to, check, to check it out. Um, you know, just, just so that at least he knows that you came from us. That would be really, really awesome. And it gives back to us as well. So here's a clip um, of him actually playing. And he's actually playing. So let me just skip here. Here we go. So you can actually see him playing live, which is really awesome. Uh, you can see the lighting effect. Let me just pause it. See the lighting effect here is really just really amazing as to what, you know, and, and it's recording his facial features, uh, recording his body language, uh, body movement, sorry, you know, absolutely everything. I mean, it's just really amazing in terms of what he's doing and, you know, he knows what he's doing. He's obviously quite a good drummer as well, um, you know, and, and 
it's just fantastic in terms of what, what, what you can do. Now, in terms of costs, uh, before we talk about costs, do hang around because I will talk about costs in just a minute. There are other platforms now. The Rolling Stone magazine actually picked up one of our videos uh, as part of an article um, that they wrote. Uh, so this is the Rolling Stone magazine. And then our video is down here because, of course, um, there are various different platforms that you can use to actually uh, do all this kind of stuff. So this is about Jean-Michel Jean, -Michel Jean uh, who did a concert in another platform called VR Chat. Now, depending on the platform that you'll use, you can do what's called cloning. So you can clone the worlds or clone the actual um, VR space, um, you know, that, that you would have your performance in. So because some worlds only restrict, let's say 20 people or 50 people within the actual environment. So then you can clone it 10 times or you can clone it a thousand times, depending on the amount of budget you have, uh, depending on the platform you're using, and also depending on uh, the amount of testing that you have or, or amount of testing you can do within a specific amount of time. Uh, so VR is, uh, so Jean-Michel Jean is, here, here he is. So Jean-Michel Jean is actually here. He's performing in the real world also at the same time, but he's all teched out. And these are people inside of the metaverse using an Oculus Meta Quest 2 or HP Reverb G2 or an HTC Vive Pro or Valve Index, whatever VR headset they might have. Um, and they can actually be immersed within the space, really just super close to actual Jean-Michel Jean. So this is really really amazing it was actually a really cool time uh when we did this uh when i shot this video it was about a year ago a year plus ago uh so do go and check out the video it's on the vr essentials youtube channel as well so some platforms will allow you to have hundreds of people inside uh, versus other platforms where they're only restricted to let's say 10 people so you know you will do you will need to do your research in terms of what platforms are available what you can do and also depending on the budgets it will also restrict what you can do within these environments however let's say that you don't want um, 3d avatars you actually want the real performers uh, to be live there, well, basically all you have to do is get a green screen um, studio and have your performance performers or artists within that environment. And it basically, via the magic of uh, compositing, excuse me, uh, compositing basically means taking uh, the data from the green screen with the data of the 3D environment, because of course all the rest has to be done in a 3D, using a 3D software. Well, basically you have technicians who will superimpose um, the stuff from the green screen and also superimpose the stuff from the 3D environment and together put it, whether it's live or pre-recorded. Uh, generally speaking, it's better to do it pre-recorded, but you could also do it live. Um, but of course, live means you could have more issues and then the issues will be live and everyone, you know, might have some issues, uh, won't be able to enjoy the performance, right? So it's better to do it pre-recorded and then uh, disseminate your event as a live event, even though it was pre-recorded. And then if I just pause here, so for example, all the people here are not real people. Uh, of course, this entire thing is not real. Um, and then if I just go to this shot here, let me get the right shot. Here we go, here it is. So this, of course, also is not real. It's all 3D, 3D done, right? It's all done in 3D. So the great thing is that you can, you know, change the lighting, create any world that you want. It doesn't matter what it looks like, put as many laser lights as you want. It won't cost you a dime. You don't have to spend a million US dollars to get this venue and get these amazing shots. You could just spend and we'll get to this in just a moment, so do hang around for the, for, for the costing. Um, you know, you could just spend much less money to get all this kind of stuff done. So that's really what's amazing. So you don't necessarily need to do everything in 3D. You could also have it done in a way where your performers are recorded, uh, your artists are recorded in a green screen environment, and then those who have a 3D uh, a VR headset can then put it on, boom, get transposed inside of the various different VR platforms or metaverse platforms that you're looking to use. Um, and then, you know, that's that. And everyone has a great time. So, and then you can, uh, as, as I mentioned before at the beginning of this video, um, you know, live stream it on various different platforms for millions of people to see. So let's talk about costs and, you know, some of the things to look at and, and, and stuff like that. So basically what you're looking to do is um, you, you are going to have to reserve a budget, um, you know, of at least 30,000 US dollars up to, I would say, to be safe, 50 to 60,000 US dollars. That would be the top end. Not for the artist, not for the artist. I'm talking about the 3D build, 
the studio you're going to have to rent out, the technicians you need to do, the live stream, the testing you're going to need to do, uh, and everything else in it because you need to have someone inside filming as well and doing a whole bunch of different things. Mocap, motion capture is called, uh, you know, all this kind of stuff. You're going to need at least 30,000 US dollars up to 60,000 US dollars, or let's say 30,000 euros to 60,000 euros. In Singapore dollars, it will be around, let's say, 50, between 40,000 Singapore dollars up to let's say 100,000 Singapore dollars, depending on what you're looking to do. You wanna do animation uh, or you don't want animation, or you're gonna have one person performing, you're gonna have two, three, four, five, six, ten 10 people performing. Uh, what platform are you gonna use? How many people do you want in there? Like do you want spectators? You don't want spectators. You're gonna live stream it. You need a team to live stream it as well. You know, all these kind of different things. And as I mentioned before, you're gonna need at least I would say nine days so you can reserve at least 30 days because people don't work on weekends by the way FYI so that means you have less days to do your testing as they won't be using the weekends to do your testing only the work work weeks right working weeks working days um, so I would say a good 30 days of testing plus a good two months of developing all the stuff and do make sure as I mentioned before that you work with a company who has a track record who can actually plunge you into a world, into a demo that they have actually built themselves. Otherwise, don't bother. They must have a demo ready for you to put your VR headset on and boom, go inside of. They must have that. If they don't have that, I wouldn't bother hiring them, to be honest. They must have a track record. Otherwise, you're going to be scanned by these all these companies, offshore companies or companies who pretend to be like they have a whole fluge team, but they don't, you know, all this kind of stuff. Just be very cautious. However, if you do want to be connected to a company who can help you to do your concert or to do your play or to do whatever it is you want, and you have a budget of at least 30,000 euros or 30,000 US dollars or 50,000 Singapore dollars, please contact us. We will put you in touch with those people. But if you don't have the budget, please just don't bother emailing us. They're just not even going to bother entertaining your email or your call or whatever it might be. If you have the budget, please email us at ask.info at vressentials.io. We'll be very happy to help you out in connecting you with those people as we know the people who've done this. And they will also be on the Meta Business Podcast very shortly, by the way. So do not enable the bell for that video too. Um, and by the way, just a reminder that we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP. We're also giving away a brand new pair of cyber shoes sponsored by cyber shoes, as well as a $50 US 50 US dollar voucher to game keys you can redeem on your Oculus MetaQuest store or your Viveport or your Steam VR store and more game keys. And also at the moment, guys, link in the description below uh, for the uh, VRcover.com competition where two lucky winners on December 28 will be picked and who can go on the VR cover website and pick any item that they want up to 29 US dollars or 29 euros. And do enable your bell after you subscribe as we will announce how to enter the giveaway for the HP Reverb G2 and Cyber Shoes and also the game keys upon hitting the 9,000 subscribers, guys. Guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and, they, and that it helped you. Uh, until next time, I'll see you in the comments below. Bye, guys. Take it easy. See you in the comments below. Make sure you comment. Comment below. Bye, guys. <laughs> All right, how do I top this, stop this thing? All right, I got to press here. All right, bye. See you in the comments below, guys. Bye.